Hi, my name is Jeff Del Rosa. I'm the founder and president of ProMax Tool. I want to introduce you to the newest innovation we've come up with today. That is Bullet. What's different about Bullet? You're going to see in a video shortly a demonstration of how we use Bullet on a 350 Chevrolet with older engines. In fact, Bullet will work in about just about any class as well as heavy duty tractor, over the road diesel, agriculture, marine, even commercial engines. We're going to show you how that's going to work, but first we want to show you how they set it up. The pre-production model, the model that we'll have available for sale will be red anodized, hard coated to keep it lasting longer. These slide anywhere so I can replicate. The carriages consist of a lock nut and a slider, a carriage slider. What that carriage does is it contains proprietary angles to match the angles on the fasteners that's available. And speaking of the faster, we have a wide variety. We have 8 millimeters for some of your smaller V8 engines. We have 10 millimeter for your 6 cylinder diesels. We have 12 millimeter for your bigger engines, like an International, for example. So now I slide these through over like so. I'm going to use my expander wrench. Um, to tighten it down, again, I have, now I've locked it in, I have my, my bolt pattern replicated, and I can just lock this in like so. And obviously I'd use a 5 8 inch wrench in this case for these to bolt, hold it down tight. I'm good to go, and this one I'll do the same. I lock it in, and now I have my bolt pattern exactly the way the head is. So I can take these out, and now I'm gonna remove the damaged stud, by simply flipping it over, dropping that in, and now I only need two fasteners, of course, because I'm going to use that open bushing hole now to take my pro bushing. And I can start out with a number of combinations. I can start out with my 125 or my 188. In this case, I'm working on a V8. I'll use my small one first. I can always opt for my next one. I spin that in there. You can see the fit, my precision-made tooling, machine shop grade tooling, in my bushing, I can drill it, drill it, drill it, and then I can use my tap to simply chase the threads and I'm finished, just that fast. Okay, we're at, uh, we're over in Estabula, Ohio, and we're working on a 350 Chevrolet and a 1997 pickup truck. And uh, what we have is we have bullet mounted, and you can see how we did. What we're doing is we're replicating the dope bolt pattern with bullet and we've set the uh, fasteners in, some available open tap holes. We set it, we lock down our lock nuts on the outside to replicate the bolt pattern. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drill our first one out, which is damaged. Uh, these are 3 8, 16 uh, natural coarse uh, threads. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. We've set the bolt pattern from the driver's side or left side because we have to do this front stud. We set the bolt pattern. We've installed bullet now. She's upside down, but we have now the bolt pattern replicated from the driver's side. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the bushing in here for the top one, and we're gonna go ahead and drill that. We'll show you how that works. Now, bullet is lined up, setting up, and we're gonna go ahead, and Jacob's gonna go ahead and drill it out, and we'll show you how that's done. Remember, when we use our tools and our tooling bits, we like to bump the drill bit on and off, on and off. The other thing Jacob's gonna do is turn his drill bit chuck by hand until it slips in and hits the top of the stud. That way we make sure we're not knocking the cutting edge off that drill bit, okay? Now what Jacob has done is we've continued, to, we've finished here on the uh, 125 bit and he's put the 188, the uh, medium size portion in there. And we're gonna go ahead and drill that out next. Jacob's doing the back one now. We had two broken off on the driver's side, I'm sorry, on the passenger side, then the right side, and he's gone ahead and run the tap in now. And uh, we've already drilled it, so punch it like we did before, tried to extract it, didn't work. Of course, now we're going to have to tap it. So we're ready to go ahead and clean it out and uh, put his bowl there. Jacob just finished doing a 5.7 GM engine, a 350 Chevy, and a 1997, right? Everything worked pretty well once we're uh, since those three studs snapped off, once we pulled one side off and lined up the jig, transferred it over to the other side and centered it up perfect, and piloted it, drilled it. 
stepped up a couple sizes, tapped the head out, perfect. Good. Okay, with that tool, we would have to pull the fender wheels out, pull the wheels off, and then drill around all the yeah. brake lines and whatnot on the driver's side. Yeah. Especially. A well-engineered, well-thought-out, definite time saver, huge time saver. Good. And uh, we'll also uh, allow your employees to tackle the project with a little more enthusiasm because it's so much easier to do it with the tool than opposed to not having the tool. Great job.